Perfect. So you picked Illinois, but you didn't get in, but you're still here. Tell like tell us more about that. Okay. So uh, I I didn't get in because I didn't have uh, technically enough musical background, which I get. Yeah. Um, and then the uh, the GPA cutoff was higher than normal because a uh, period like this, a lot more people apply to colleges, so it's very competitive to get in right now. So. I, you know, I didn't take no for an answer. I was like, I'm going to find out a way to go to Illinois, whether I started a college and transfer there or, you know, figure something out. And uh, my, one of my neighbors also didn't get in, but he also still really wanted to go. So <laughs> his mom and my mom kind of looked at, uh, like, colleges in the area, and we found uh, Parkland College, which is, like, the local, like, community of junior college in uh, Champaign. And we found a program called Parkland Pathways to UAUC, where you are technically a full-time Parkland student. So I'm a full-time Parkland student, technically, uh, while also being a student at Illinois. So uh, I get to basically be pretty much an Illinois student because I get to stay in the dorms. Uh, I get to use Illinois facilities. I get to take Illinois classes. So, uh, and I have a, a really good like support system at Parkland and I take classes there so the I feel like the pros very much uh, outweigh any cons it's a I like the program I love that initiative because I don't think I've ever met someone who really wanted to come to Illinois and got rejected and you find a way to through Parkland so wait so do you go to Parkland? Like, how do you go there? Do you take a bus or like, how does that work? I, um, so right now I'm technically only in uh, online classes at Parkland. So I don't have to go to like the main campus right now. I okay. will soon. Um, but last semester I, I drove there. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of near like where like the target is, mm -hmm. like down like Prospect, that kind of area. So I would just drive there, but I know people that take the bus. Uh, that's pretty much the only other way to get there. Because it's not, it's like far, but it's not that far. Right. I mean, it's far if you're walking. It's far if you're walking, yeah. <laughs> I think it would take me a very long time if I w tried to walk there. It's probably like two hours or something. Or more, who knows. Honestly, yeah. But yeah, it's like a f 15, 20 minute drive from par, the dorm. Yeah, there you go. Interesting. Well, like, uh, yeah, that, that's really cool because I feel like a lot of people could actually enjoy that. Oh yeah, I feel like it's a program that's like underutilized. Like I feel like more people should know about it. Cause I, I knew a lot of people in my high school that also got rejected from Illinois and they just like went to other schools and I was like, well, I mean, I still want to go here. So I did. You're here. Wait, so you're here at Parkland, right? I mean, you're also here at Illinois. Yes. But you take, you're taking these classes and everything and you eventually, I'm assuming you, you will transfer to. Oh yeah, I get a, uh, I get a guaranteed transfer after two years, and I get guaranteed into the uh, the specific college. So I will, uh, I will have a guaranteed spot in two years into the fine arts school. Guaranteed. Yep. No questions asked. Yep. No GPA requirements or anything. I mean, I can't fail out. You know. I mean, obviously, right? But technically, the the transfer uh, GPA re GPA requirement is like a two point two five. Okay. But I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get a two point five. <laughs> yeah, fair I would enough. Prefer not to. <laughs> <laughs> and then, is that for only music or for any other majors? They have a lot of other majors. Uh, they they have uh, they don't have any business. Um, I don't. I think they only have like engineering. Like it's undesignated, not undeclared, okay. and also LAS. It's undesignated. Wow. How many people have you met? Or in, in this program with you? I, uh, I've met a couple I, uh, so in some of my classes. Because I technically, I take like my, uh, my gen eds at Parkland. And a lot of the people taking the gen eds there are also other Parkland Pathway students. So I've met, I've made friends through those classes and they're Parkland students. Uh, I have my neighbor who I applied with. He got in to the program before I did. So that's how I knew I had a chance of getting in. So I applied. Uh, and then I've met just like, there's a couple of like just people on campus where I just happen to be talking to them. And I bring up that I do this program and they're all they're also like, oh, I do too. Right, because there's really no difference between being here and there. It just, 
It's it's like a, it's pretty much just like a like a paperwork. Thing. Yeah. Exactly. So it's just, so do you have an iCard and everything, right? I'm assuming. I do. So there you go. So like, <laughs> awesome. No, I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> so there's really no difference between yeah. there and here. Oh, okay, interesting. And I don't have it on me, but I do have a Parkland uh, ID card as well. Wow. Okay. That's, that's really that's really interesting. You know what? What's something? Okay, th th that's something like that's really cool. But maybe that's something a little more esoteric. What's something you haven't told anyone?